This year, COP28 unveiled its first ever Faith Pavilion, providing a dedicated space for interfaith organizations to connect at the conference. The Faith Pavilion has never, ever happened before. This is the first time that UNCCC allow and invite uh, Interfaith to be at the table to share their efforts and concern. The Woolly Meditation is a very good way... Siji also participated, hosting a morning prayer session at the pavilion. They invited all the Interfaith to lead the prayers in the morning. This is another breakthrough to have a mutual respect and also demonstrate the cultural diversity. At the Indonesia Pavilion, representatives of Muslim, Buddhist, and indigenous faith traditions explored how they could better lead communities through climate-friendly practices and eco-consciousness. In many cases, in most cases, are the least responsible for the problem. Educate and raise awareness. The following year, it then uh, went to 10 days. And then the third year, the whole of Ramadan became plastic free. So you can't expect because behavior change doesn't, you can't just tell people, you have to take them on a journey. That faith has a pivotal role to play in a part of the discourse that we're seeing. So it's not just the scriptures or the theology, they can mobilize people, they have influence, they can motivate people, you know, they can bring people on board. And then you find if you get the communities on board, you'll have everybody on board. As they talk about the work that faith communities are doing and how interconnected that work is into the local communities in which they find themselves, so faiths are uh, well suited and well positioned to be the voice for local communities because they have been there for hundreds of years and they will likely be there for hundreds more and they know um, the solutions that work in their communities. We need to work together to get our voices heard in positive energy, in positive karma, then we can bring the whole team together as a universe to work for our home, our future planet. That's all I want to share. Thank you, Deborah.